These are going to be going 37 cars strong around this four tenths mile track, 75 laps as a distance. 17 degrees of banking in the corners. And you look at the track from up here, they look like pretty big sweeping corners. You get down on there, it is a hard left hander into turn one. It's hard enough to do that with one or two cars on the track, but it's going to be a lot harder to do it with 36 other cars around you. Here we go. Double wide all the way around. 36 cars strong. Lights on top of the Deacon Jones Dodge Pace car are out. Mr. Bushy behind the wheel of it will have to make the left turn in just a moment. Mike Hare on top of the flag stand. He'll look them over. Field punches together. Green flag is in the air and we're racing. Garrett Bunch on the brake, sticks a nose out in front. The field shuffles off to turn number one for the first time. Looks like the 81 of Adam Murray checked up a little bit. We went three wide right behind him. Brian Pemelton's gonna be the big winner out of that. He's gonna go ahead and probably move up to about six or seven position when it's all said and done. They're side by side for the third up ahead. That battle not lasting very long. Doug Barefoot will slip back to the number four position. Donald Brace will go by. So give Donald Brace the third spot. Everybody shuffling from there on back. A couple of cars off the pace and heading for the pit lane already as the leaders already click lap number one on the board. As the 51 car, Corey Walker brings it in for the night. Tough break for him there early. Really had a lot of hope going into this race. Nothing really doing there. Side by side back for right at about ninth place is Adam Murray to the inside of Brian Pemberton. He's gonna make the pass just now, but Pemberton does come back on strong. He gets Whoa. big raccoon in the turn one, hard hit there. Harrison Burton is involved in the crash. Harrison Burton is in it. Five different cars involved in it. A colossal impact over in turn number one with four different race cars. And it's difficult to tell which cars are involved. There is sheet metal, there's fluid, there's all kinds of stuff everywhere. Bobby Gower is the driver there that took the biggest hit. His whole front end is brought in by about a good foot, foot and a half there. He hit the wall a ton there. Field just checked up, one guy got hooked and you carry so much speed going down the straightaway into these corners. If you get hooked or anything before you can really get on the brake, you're gonna hit the wall a ton and they hit there. I just made a, need a broom more than anything, Ken. It was a lot of debris that came off the cars. The fans sitting trackside I had to go run for cover for just a second there because those cars, about three or four of them hit hard on the outside wall. You see Harrison Burton's car come rolling on back. Definitely not the night that he nor Jeff Burton wanted to see. Pace car behind the wall, looking for the green flag. This time by, here we go again. Three laps complete. Green is in the air. And the field begins to fan out. They're three wide from fifth on back in turn number one. There's contact. One car goes around, further back up against the outside wall. Three more cars collected in a hard crash between turns one and two. And the limited late model race not getting off to a good start whatsoever. That appears to be the 26 of Kart Badesky. I think I'm saying that right. As well as the six of, is that Jeremy Burns in the six? That's Jeremy Burns in the six as well. Still only three laps complete, believe it or not. Green flag flew 26 minutes ago. I want to say hi to the hundreds of you listening on the internet right now. Yeah, a whole bunch of you people listening online right now. Here we go, pace car behind the wall one more time. Garrett Bunch on the pole, Kyle Appel on the outside, or rather Donald Brace on the outside. Green flag is in the air, we're racing again. Through the gearbox they go back to turn number one. 
Bunch on the inside. Donald Brake slips on the outside. That'll allow Garrett Bunch to scamper away by a Carly. Side by side for a second. Calapel is on the inside. He's got Donald Brace on the outside. Brace holds the spot side by side. So for the lead for second place, Brace gets a heck of a run going into turn number one. Comes off turn number two a little bit loose, and that lets Appel capitalize. So Bunch opens up two car length advantage. They've stacked up double wide from second on back. At the Hornets net there, nobody finding the real estate they need. The back in turn number one. Kyle Appel to the inside of Donald Brace. He'll clear Donald Brace, and he's looking great behind there. Brandon Sentz are up to fourth. He's got the seventh car of Lewis Waite. Look for Lewis Waite to keep trying to move forward. He's doing all right back there. Right on the bumper of Brandon Sentz, while Michael Rouse sits on the inside of Doug Barefoot at the moment. Six laps complete. Field continue to circle around the racetrack. Things beginning to settle down at the second position. Kyle LaPell has it. Donald Brace settles in line in third. Running in the number four position, Brandon Setzer. Lewis White, the track champion, is up to fifth. Michael Rouse runs sixth. Doug Barefoot can drop kick the seventh. Ryan Robertson is eighth. Adam Murray is ninth. And Danny Willis Jr. peaking himself in the top ten for the first time. Clay Jones knocking on the door of a top 10 right now. He's just got by Brian Pebbleton. Brian Pebbleton's backsliding just a little bit. Got involved in a little bit of shenanigans earlier on. Black flag for the, oh, the, that is the 58 car. He's got a ton of right side damage. Not really sure what happened there, but the sheet metal peeled off from about the front fender on back past the right side door. Yeah, the right side, like the passenger side door, flapping in the air. He'll die for pit road make his way down and you're going to see a pit crew member literally yank that sheet metal off. It's the right front quarter panel that's peeled backwards. Crew makes, uh, makes the pit work complete as they yank that away. Meanwhile, they're going to lose a couple of laps in the process. A little more severe trying to get some of the underskirting peeled off that race car. Meanwhile, back on the racetrack, the race leader, Garrett Bunch, not far from falling into the tail end of the field and start laughing, folks. First car is going to catch two is Mike Jones. Mike Jones, of course, sent to the rear of the field earlier for jumping the restart. Now he's all over the back end of the 38 car of Robert Roy. So there's only 29 cars left on the lap, 13 cars in, 13 laps in. Tough going early, but really already ready to start putting cars a lot down this early in the race. Royce are up and out of the way of Mike Jones is next in front of Garrett Bunch and then behind him Calapel finally put some space between himself and Donald Brace. Move over flag is in full effect right now. Royster has got the leaders bearing down on him. They'll go three wide in turn number one. Setzer clears him. And now Royster quickly dives for the bottom of the back straightaway to get out of harm's way. Leaders get by. And Garrett Bunch, the actual race leader, is weaving his way through the back markers right now on the back straightaway. Donald Brace is all over some lap traffic trying to get by, trying to keep pace with Kyle Appel. Appel up and around the Adam Resnick machine, and now Brace is kind of stuck here. He's going to make the three wide down off the corner. Way low on the track, but he's going to keep pace with Kyle Appel going into the corner. 58 cars around, same car that had travel early. Comes down, cuts across the traffic. Big wreck up ahead. Adam Resnick somehow gets through. And then spins and hits the wall. Doug Barefoot involved in the crash as well. He started this race up in the top five. He'd fallen back just a bit. Now he's got significant body damage to the right front corner of his race car. He's been able to refire. He's trying to pull away from the accident site. But a big crash. And this again, Ken, lap traffic coming into play. The leader's trying to negotiate that. Look at the top three separated by 0 0.003. I mean, is there's a whole a lot of bushies out there.
side by side, back for four. If you got Brandon sets around the inside, Michael Rouse on the outside. Rouse looks a little stronger out there, but up front, side by side for second. Donald Brace to the inside of Calapel. He's going to make that pass look really, really easy off of turn number four. Lewis Boyd has fifth, Michael Routes on the outside has six, and Clay Jones has seventh. They're all stacked up behind Setzer. White wants to go. He's going to get to the inside of Brandon Setzer. He looks down to the bottom. Setzer stays up high there side by side coming off of turn four. White's got the spot. He'll have the position by about a half a car length right now. He's head that back into turn number one. Jones makes it right past Brandon Setzer. Now, right in his mirror, there's Michael Rouse. Michael Rouse, no stranger to Southern National Motorsport, parking a variety of cars. Side by side down the back stretch, you got Brandon Setzer on the outside and Michael Rouse on the outside, on the inside. That's the sixth place. Rouse has a spot. Brandon Setzer leans up on him a little bit. Rouse has a spot. Now, Danny Lewis Jr. is there to challenge. Field starts a single file out, most of the way through. Now, now that the race is starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm here, Brandon Setzer having a tough time keeping the car on the bottom, as is Brian Pendleton, who's racing behind him. Out front, Garrett Bunch has about a second and a half lead, making right about a second and a half lead on Donald Brace. Brace has about another full second back to Kyle Appel. If he looks in his mirror, he sees Lewis White closing in. Clay Jones is up there now for fifth. Clay Jones, no stranger to victory lane here as well. We're single file just about all the way through the field. Helps if our microphone turned back on. Here we go. Field working back across the start finish line. 28 out of the 75 laps complete for the limited late models. It's Garrett Bunch all at the front of the field. He's beginning to put distance between himself and second place running Donald Brace as they again enter lap traffic over on the back straightaway. Garrett Bunch starting to work his way back through slower traffic again. Slower traffic's been a big deal out here most of the season, especially tonight. But so far, so good around the track. Got a lot of single file rates right now. A little battle back there on the inside of Brian Pendleton. Joe Heigl looking for a top 10 right now. He gets to the inside of Pendleton. Comes off of turn two. So dive into turn number three. Heigl's got the spot. And right behind him, he's got the 81 of Adam Murray. Murray wants that spot as well. 31 laps complete. 75 make up the distance. It's the Garrett Bunch benefit. He's got some clean air in front of him for the moment. Donald Brace has cleared himself from lap traffic. He's got 10 car lengths to make up, however, on the race leader. Now Appel, who rides in the third spot, has got Lewis White pestering him from behind and running in the fifth spot. It's Clay Jones who's the challenge for the fourth spot. Lewis White looks at the inside of Kyle Appel. Gets down way down, though. A little bit too tight to diamond off that corner. Kyle Appel gets a good run off of turn two. Can just barely clear Lewis White. He drops a hammer down, gets into turn number three, comes off a of four, but Lewis White's right back there to his inside. Lewis White digging down to the bottom of the racetrack. Appel giving him plenty of racing room on the outside, laying or wheel to wheel in the back straightaway. A quick drag race setting up for the 17 degree banking at turn number three by a fender, Lewis White, your reigning track champion in the limited late models. He'll take over the number three position as sparks fly from underneath his race car as it bottoms out turn one. Appel hung up on the outside lane. Clay Jones will capitalize. He'll squeeze down to the inside and give Clay Jones the number four position in the exchange. Rare little bit of patient driving right there. Got Kyle Appel, knew he was hung up on the outside. Basically let Clay Jones have the spot. 
Cleve Jones now wants to try to put the charge on Lewis White. He gets right up to his bumper off of turn two. He's gonna try again through three and four, but so far Lewis White, the defending track champion, is too much right now. Everybody settling down, found themselves a nice groove on the racetrack to ride and make laps, 37 laps complete of the scheduled 75. Glad you can join us. I'm Alex Hayden alongside Ken Childs. 38 laps on the board, just like that. They're clicking around this four tenths of a mile racetrack at lap times of right at 16 seconds a lap. William, that's not that far off qualifying times around here. You guys are really moving at a pretty solid clip. Pretty decent racing throughout the field. After a lot of early cautions, they have a lot of guys being a little more patient, trying to save the cars for the last little sprint to the finish. Right now, Lewis Wade stretched out a little bit from Clay Jones. Lewis Wade has third, trying to catch Donald Brace. Brace is no straight. Oh, spin over and turn two is Jonathan Carnegie's around. Had a bit of a tap from Mike Jones. Carnegie gets around, doesn't hit anything. Field scatters. We're under caution. So caution on the speedway on lap number 40 for Jonathan Carnegie, the Goldsboro, North Carolina driver. You know, we've got all these big races. You get two or three cautions, you get all the riffraff taken out and all that. And before you know it, you got some clean track ahead of you. People in Twitter land want to know if we've seen any Billy Ray Cyrus haircuts at the racetrack today. If you guys only knew. All we all we have seen are toboggans. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's green flag back in the air. Restart is underway. We're, Donald Brace not getting a very good start from the inside row two. He'll give up five car links on the run as Garrett Bunch continues to pull away. Clay Jones will fall in line, ride his tire tracks. And boy, oh boy, are they shuffling from seventh on back. It is an absolute mess pack here. Three wide and hard hit going on in this front stretch. It's going to be the 81. That's Adam Murray. He backs into the wall after contact with the 71. That was Chris Chapman. They really had nowhere to go. Three wide with Brian Pembleton. Pembleton was just on the outside by himself. Had Murray and Chapman on his inside. They got together both trying to avoid Pembleton. Murray backed it on into the wall, and his whole rear end is all crumpled in. Got a little bit dragging from the rear end, and you never want anything dragging from your rear end. Well, no, and Adam Murray's going to go down the, the opposite end of the racetrack and make a U-turn down at the entrance to pit wall and take his battered race car back to his hauler. on the racetrack, field filing inside lane, outside lane, no major shuffles in the deck at the front of the field. Garrett Buncher, pole sitter, still up front. He's led all 41 laps. He'll take the inside lane. Clay Jones will take the outside lane. At 57 now minutes since the drop of the green flag. Average speed about eight miles an hour. With all these cautions and stoppages, Fortunately, everybody's been okay in all the hard crashes. Here we go up off turn number four. Green flag goes back in the air. Clay Jones gets a good jump. He'll lead the field back to turn number one by a fender, but Garrett Bunch rallies back on the bottom side of the racetrack on the back stretch. Side by side for the lead. Garrett Bunch is going to clear Clay Jones going into turn number three. Calipel gets to the inside of Jones now. He gets a little bit loose right in front of Lewis White. Lewis White manages to get off his bumper, though. Jones has a spot on the outside, but just barely by a nose. The bunch will get away by four, now five and six car lengths as he rockets down the back stretch. They're double wide, second and third. They're double wide, fourth and fifth. And from there on back, things are just an absolute mess. Everybody diving for turn number one again. Appel comes away with the second spot over on turn two. But now he's got a challenge from Lewis White. Lewis White looks to the inside of Pal Appel. Appel just about gives him the spot. Lewis White takes the spot. Appel tries to cross over, gives Lewis White a little bit of a bump. Appel jumps up the track, but he's going to stay just ahead of Donald Brace. Clay Jones getting the worst of this last restart. He elected to start on the outside of the front row. Right now, he's fighting to hang on to the fifth position to no avail. He'll lose fifth, he'll lose sixth. Clay Jones hung up on the outside lane, going backwards. Danny Willis Jr. really loose off of turn number two. Just about leans up on Clay Jones. Brandon Setzer way off the pace going into turn number three. He had some kind of trouble 
He's coming out of the pit road. Tough break for Sector. Looks like he might have a left rear down. Right rear tire is down on Sector's car. And we'll see if his dad, Dennis Setzer. No, it looks like he has the rear end, a broken rear end housing on that race car. It wobbles back and forth, making his way down the pit lane. His dad, Dennis Setzer, is here turning the wrenches, but Setzer is going to go back on the racetrack. They're pitted on the back side of the speedway. So he came down the front side pit lane. He's got to go around the apron of one and two and the enter the backside picked over in turn number two. So Setzer goes behind the wall. Nobody really wins with a wobbly rear end. What's Can't have a wobbly rear Pem end. Pemberton also on pit road. He had a big little skirmish back there as well. And now he's on pit road as well. Now we've got a battle on the track. That's for fourth, third place right now. Donald Brace to the inside of Calipel. He's going to take the spot coming off of turn number two. Feels now single file most of the way back all the way through Michael Rouse, who's racing with Jonathan Carnegie. Back to that's about 14th place. I'm awfully impressed with Garrett Bunch and the speed he's been able to show and the handling of that race car maneuvering inside and outside through all of the lap traffic, through all of the restarts, different competitors to his outside on these restarts time after time, and he's been able to withstand every challenge. Right now, he rides on the back straightaway. His advantage is 1.7 seconds over Lewis White. That translates to nearly a full straightaway. As Clay Jones again having problems continuing to backslide here. He makes some contact with one of the race cars, uh, moves him up out of the way, but Clay Jones fighting to stay in the back half of the top 10. Tough break for Clay Jones out there. He was right up front there and just kind of backsliding. Knows his way around this racetrack. Really wanted to win this big race here with the first coming back at the speedway. He's been supporting the track all season. Just tough go of it late here in this race. We've got just about 20 laps to go. And right now it's all Garrett Bunch. He's got a 1.65 second advantage over Lewis White while Donald Brace continues to race with Kyle Appel. Brace has Appel slowly faded back, but he's about one second back from Brace back to Appel. Again, Garrett Bunch now catching the tail end of the field. Jonathan Carnegie sits just in front of him. Carnegie getting the move over flag, but he has got traffic stacked up in front of him. Garrett Bunch, the leader, going up underneath Carnegie off turn number two. Put him one lap down. Lewis White rides to second, half a straightaway back as they all continue to work heavy traffic back across the start finish line. 57 laps complete. Traffic's been a factor in most of the races out here, but Garrett Bunch has just about a second and a half, which translates to about a half of straightaway lead over Lewis Wade, but now he's caught up to the back end of... Huge lower cars right there. He gets up and around Chapman just fine. Chapman skids off the apron. He looks to be okay. A little bit of sparks came up off the rear end, but he's all right. Lewis Wade continues to run in second, but has Donald Bray slowly closing in on him, but it's a ways to go from second back to third. 60 laps will go up on the board next time by 15 remaining 15 laps to go next time by for the race leader Garrett Bunch up off turn number four and here he is crossing the start finish line and Brad Arthur the 16th place car going a lap down uh, in just uh, well another lap or so side by side with the race leader exiting turn four but Arthur able to withstand the challenge trying to stay on the tail end of the lead lap. Can't blame him for trying to stay on the tail end of the lead lap but that's the kind of thing that's going to get you spun out in a limited late model race once in a while. He'll finally move up to the outside and let Garrett Bunch slide on by and much like you see in cup racing you know the first car has got a lot harder time getting by the slower traffic than the subsequent cars afterward. And that's enabled Lewis White to close in just a bit. The distance down to about 10 car lengths. Back to turns three and four. Now Lewis White, the second place car, is going to have to deal with the recently lapped Brad Arthur. Not as much cooperation through the field as you had earlier in the race. You guys just kind of getting out of the way and letting people race. Now they're kind of battling for whatever position they can get. Got a little bit of a skirmish back in the field though. Kyle Appel in fourth, trying to hold off Danny Willis Jr. and Clay Jones. They're all stacked up behind Appel, who's trying like heck to fight for fourth. 
Next time by, there will be 10 laps to go. 10 to go next time by. Can anybody do anything with Garrett Bunch? It hasn't looked that way. His car's been rock solid from the drop of the green flag. Matter of fact, uh, all afternoon from practice and qualifying, he put it on the pole this afternoon in group qualifying, and to this point has led all 65 laps. across the start finish line Garrett Bunch working his way through traffic again he's been able to put that race car just about anywhere he's wanted to up off turn number four across the stripe this time he's getting held up in traffic and here's Lewis White Lewis White is pulled right up he's within two car lengths now the race leader continuing to work heavy traffic in turns three and four a lot more heavy traffic up on the way too. Garrett Bunch doing his best to get up there, but now they're racing for a little harder position. Chris Burns all the way down to the inside. Bunch goes up and around him, although Burns doesn't really make it too easy for him. Lewis White's down to less than a second. Lewis White still talking. Race leader Garrett Bunch, five laps to go. The deficit, now three car lengths as they continue to work lap traffic. Exit in turn two for the back stretch. Garrett Bunch has to slow up just a little bit behind GR wall drop. Gets to the corner coming into three, comes off of turn four. That leads down to just about five lanes. Four laps to go, four to go. Garrett Bunch for the moment has a chance to breathe. Lewis White just clearing the lap traffic. He'll lose a couple of more car lengths in the mess. But now the leaders approach slower traffic. Bunch gets caught up behind lap cars. They nearly collided. He had to go all the way to the bottom of the front straightaway, and he really had to check up. Here's Lewis White again, two car lengths back, headed for turn three. Here a bunch to the inside of the slower Michael Rouse car. Lewis White gets right up to him, two to go this time by. The distance from first to second is just barely a half a second. Field up off of turn number two. The race leader, Garrett Bunch. Lewis White riding second. They clear themselves of some lap traffic. Mike Harrell put the white flag in the air. Garrett Bunch trying to lead flag to flag. The advantage beginning to grow in the clean air. Garrett Bunch is now up to five, giving six car lengths at the exit of turn two. Garrett Bunch is silver and red. Chevrolet trouble in turn number two. One car goes for a hard spin down on the inside. Meanwhile, Checkered flag is in the air, and Garrett Bunch will win the limited late model feature. He goes flag to flag, and there's a big heap of smoke over in the inside of turn number two. One of the cars getting collected down there up against the inside retaining wall, but Garrett Bunch will celebrate in victory lane. Lewis White will finish in the second spot. He put up a heck of a fight, came up just a bit short. Donald Brace finished third. Kyle Appel ended up in the number four position. And Ryan Robertson came home fifth. The rest of the top 10, Joe Heigl was sixth. So both cars pull away from the accident site as we go trackside and visit with the guy who went flag to flag, Garrett Bunch. Garrett Bunch, your winner tonight here in Limited Late Models, presented by Big Boys Truck Stop. 75 laps of the distance, Garrett Bunch led them all. Okay, congratulations to Lewis White, second place finisher out here. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, Garrett Bunch! <laughs> Garrett's getting handshakes right now from Lee Pulliam, your national NASCAR champion. Pulliam was spotting for Bunch tonight, makes a whole lot of sense Ooh. now that you look back at it. Yeah, get over here, bud. Garrett, you went on here, led every lap, and made it look a lot easier than it probably was. Talk about your night tonight, talk about your race, and how'd you get through all that traffic? Uh, it was it was getting crazy there at the end, man. It was, uh, you know, Lewis White won the championship here, and, uh, you know, Lee Pulliam was in my ear telling me, here he comes, he's on his way. Uh, got hit in lap traffic there a little bit, had a little rough time getting by him, but, uh, you know, we pulled it out, and we had, we had a good car all weekend, so. How hard was it with Lee coming 
or with Lewis coming, did you know that you had to start pedaling more? Was Lee making sure you knew that kind of information? Oh yeah, yeah. He said he said you need to get a gap right here when we had a little break, and I got a gap, and then lap cars didn't help me at all. But you know that's racing. That's how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, Garrett Bunch. <laughs> Lewis White finishes second tonight. Lewis had a charge at the end, just couldn't quite make it there. Talk about your race tonight. Well, we were holding back to the end. I was just biding my time and and uh, let the cars in front of, front of them and do what they needed to do. And once we got to second, I thought maybe we had something when he caught the lap traffic. But once he got clear of that lap traffic, I didn't have nothing for him. We were we were the first losers while we were tonight. Did you think of any of those restarts you could have done anything for him? I doubt it. I doubt it. it seems like this track here in my car, I always uh, like to start on the inside anyway. So. We uh, thought about going it outside a couple times, but I figured the way, I, way this car does, I'll just stay just down low and see what it gives me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, second place winner tonight, Lewis White, track champion. Donald Brace finishes third tonight. Donald, talk about your run tonight. Didn't look like it had quite enough to stay up with the leaders, but solid run tonight all together. A little bit of dent on that right side of the car, too. How'd that happen? Ah, uh, lap car. Um, we just, I, I just got into him a little bit and spun him. I didn't really mean to do that. I was just trying to get him on out of the way. But uh, car took off like a rocket, but it just, just steadily got tighter and tighter, more fuel we burn off. And uh, I just didn't, didn't have anything for these two guys up front. Is there anything you could have done on any of those restarts or you kind of had what you had there? Woo, I missed two gears on two of them restarts. My clutch was working too good. And uh, I'm lucky I'm coming out with one piece, but uh, I'm real happy with a third place. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Brace finishes third tonight. Lewis White second, Garrett Buncher winner.